hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl morning glow you guys on monday which was on the 10th of february Tacha um, came online crying about how she was, you know, treated at the hotel she was lodged in, like how the receptionist, you know, barged into her room without any form of notice. And people were um, not saying she was only chasing clout because Mercy did her housewarming. Like, I'm not getting it. Someone was feeling really pissed, like angry, and at the same time, lamenting on how people would treat her because she's Tatcha or because they feel she can't um, do anything about it. And you're here saying she's doing it for clout. Tatcha that I know hmm, um, can use the internet very well. And I know if she wants to like chase clout or seek attention, like you guys said, she would know how to go about that. She would know what to do to like get the attention. Coming online to cry now is definitely not how she will go about it. Like, come on, people, do better. Well, talking about um uh, Mercy's um housewarming doll, Mercy um invited almost all the ex-housemates, like the Pepper Dem Gang, yeah. And guess who came true? Kathy. Kathy was there. I'm like, oh my god, this is maturity. You understand? And Ike was also there. Um, well, Ike, I'm not really surprised because I do know they are still dating, but on the low. Mm-hmm. And guess who was there also? Chief Kubana was there to grace the occasion, you guys. And he asked Ike a question. Do you know what he asked? He was like, Ike, when are you going to put a ring on it? Um, like, when is he going to pop the question to Mercy? You get? And Ike was like, hey, Kubana, please, oh, there are people competing, oh, the likes of footballers, musicians, and so the bright prize has catapulted. I'm like, Ike, my man, you do know how to dodge questions. You get? And um, Fraud, who was not there, um, took to his Insta story to be like, oh, he really wished um, he was there to give some dance moves. Hmm. I'm talking about Fraud, who wasn't at the, you know, house um, warming, was with Esther in Rwanda. Hmm, hmm, you guys. Hmm. Anyway, so moving on, you guys. Tacha and Mercy have started um, shading each other. And this drama started on Monday, yeah. During the housewarming year, you guys, uh, Mercy um, said to her fans that she will be, you know, kickstarting a reality show soon. So she asked to picture everybody's um, reaction so she can use the, you know, um, video um, clips for a reality TV show. Hmm. But the Titans were not having it because they thought Tatcha started it first and then they started insulting both mercy and the mercenaries they called her a gamma lizard hey people like fans and tatcha on the other end was not you know even helping matters she was just foiling you know the fire by posting stuffs on her insta stories stuffs like you know you are winning when you see um you are being copied i'm like okay okay and um it's called originality you should try it sometime i'm like okay okay now she's throwing shades she's throwing shades and you know and mercy who got the memo was like okay i'm not going to let this slide and she started though to fire back she posted um when she first announced or gave hint about her starting a tv show um yeah yeah you remember um mercy once posted about um her launching a tv show yeah that very tweet she reposted in case you don't know what this tweet was um about um on the 4th of january this year um mercy tweeted which reads and oh yes, I'm coming back to your screen. Are you ready for the real highlights? But then Tatcha launched a reality TV show first. Tatcha launched a TV show on the 2nd of February. And this was after Mercy said something about a TV show. Okay, let's get it, you guys. This is why I think, you guys. Mercy hinted about coming back to her screen which to me is not clear enough if it's going to be a reality tv show or a movie that's me saying you guys please don't come for me 
now there's an hashtag you know trending on twitter hashtag tasha started it first but the thing is none of them started it first you get ek was the one who started it first so if anybody is to copy anybody here is the both ladies copying ek ek started his um his tv uh, what was it called his reality tv show in december you get so ek started the hoodie wear and it's not even you know shading anybody well if i'm asked hmm? if i'm asked and if i'm very honest i will say there is nothing like copying anybody when it comes to reality tv show because none of this is their idea they aren't the originator of reality tv it's only an idea and a business strategy so um if anybody feels capable enough to you know um to you know um start a reality a reality tv show go for it this guy is you know why they know for everybody to fly so why the competition why why are we starting i know it's not starting anyways you guys um let's just leave it at that moving on you guys omashola posted on his twitter feed it was like sometimes spoil yourself not be every time you go they walk like jackie for some reason our sister jackie assumed omashola was referring to her in case you don't know who Jackie is, yeah, Jackie is another um, ex housemate of Big Brother Ninja Pepe Dem Gang. So she responded to Omashola by posting, "To be the greatest, you have to keep working, innovating, and creating valuable solutions, not wasting your time bowling. You will end up as a 40 years old man with no wealth." P.S. You haven't made since you left BBM bbn five percent of profit i've made this february on a project hashtag tech money hashtag noiseless hashtag check the stats i'm like jackie what what is going on with you it is very clear marshall was not referring to you jackie in the sense was not even you like i believe everybody knows um this um ninja slang uh you they walk like jackie like you understand so why do you not think it's you he was referring to like i don't get it please tell me she wasn't referring to omar sholada homes a club um when she was saying you haven't made um since you left bbn five percent of profit i've made this february on you know projects or whatever auntie please eh you have to put your shoulder down anyways um kim opera responded to jackie she was like wow wow the level of ignorance people have despite their claims of intelligence amazes me my sister kimi myself the, the thing tire me like i really do not know what to say to jackie at this at this point jackie huh omashola was not referring to you so if i were you i'll go and apologize to him asap anyways moving on you guys house of lunette debunks claims that thatcher was dropped over bad character you guys if you recall um there were rumor going around insinuating that thatcher was dropped by house of lunette after a short working relationship um this happened after a photo went viral that revealed an alleged uh, you know conversation that thatcher was no longer with the brand well the good news is House of Lunette has now set an official statement via their Instagram page stating that any news which implies that the brand has nothing to do with Tasha should be ignored. Okay, you guys. Meanwhile, Shay is now engaged to his girlfriend. Yeah, yes, this came to the public notice after the girlfriend, you know, posted uh a few seconds um you know video of her just showing off her ring sitting very pretty on that lovely you know finger of hers i'm like oh my god yes you guys congratulations to you shay and yeah that will be it for this video please um subscribe if you find this video interesting like if you do share comment and i will see you on my next one but until then be good be nice and bye bye Mwah.